that effect on him. No but the building does. But that changed ten minutes ago. Mm -hmm. Should tell everybody why and introduce well, you know our next guest. It. Very few people get my get, I get excited over. The few people I met in this town, I think it was George St. Pierre, it was John Jones, and now we've got a true legend. If you ever if you know anything about martial arts at all. If you were ever a kid, took a karate class, or you bought Black Belt magazine, or watched any of the movies, Bill Wallace, Bill Superfoot Wallace in studio with us, and uh, I'm not ashamed to say, it was an idol of mine when I was a kid. I, I took karate for many different styles for a lot of years, and we have him in studio, so this is a rare treat. This is not a on the phone, and just want to say welcome, and thanks for coming. Trained in. Elvis, Please. John Belushi, Trained El true, a true legend. Yeah. I'm a zero for two. <laughs> right, zero for two. Well, I got some people, people I'd like to introduce you to then. I'd love to One's walking in right now. <laughs> oh, I, 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 it wasn't me. I don't care what you say. But anyway, what brings you first? I thought, you know, at the intro, of course, for people who, who know who you are, this is a big deal to get somebody in your, you know, your status in, in the uh, in the sport to come to town. Why, why are you here? Well, we're here for the Guardian Angels. Oh. And uh, I started working with the Guardian Angels in 1988, something like this, and went on a tour with them in West Palm Beach. Scared the shit out of me. And... Uh, you know, <laughs> skilled the crap out of this girl. And, but, uh, uh, and uh, my This is not satellite radio. I'm sorry, I lost my head, I apologize. Scared, I was, I was frightened. You were, you were afraid. I was yeah. afraid. But, uh, and uh, working with the Guard Angels has just been, uh, you know, a thing that I've done since, since 1988. I have a ball with them. So you have, 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 have this training session for them? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. And we're going to work with those. A little self-defense, a little fun. Yeah. You know, some, some of uh, a rareness type stuff. Yeah. Took it. The only other person to ever do that in studio was Chuck Liddell, by the way. Oh, okay. <laughs> he did the same thing. But what he said, and Steve, always, he, Steve will ask me questions about martial arts training for his kids. He has a twin uh, boy and girl. What do you say to people listening? Because we always get this when we have someone like you in the studio. Do you think, I mean, does it really pay people to train? Themselves, if, the children, things like that. If, the, in light of all the things you see in the news. Well, if they train and they keep at it. Yes, right. you know, uh, I could show you a self-defense move that's very, very simple. But if you don't practice it, you're never going to think about doing it. You know, somebody's going to come and slap you across the face and you go, ah! one of those things. Yeah. Uh, but if you practice it over and over and over, so it becomes muscle memory, yes, it'll work. Yeah. Uh, if you if you're aware of things, if you're aware of your surroundings, you know, uh, it teaches you discipline. It teaches you respect. It teaches you uh, to to look around to know what you're what you're doing. You know, on the way over here, uh, I'm looking at everything that's going around uh, on the traffic on the and the freeways, uh, uh, sure. buildings, and things like this. Uh, and I always like to sit with my back to the wall. Me too. And uh, so yeah, it, it's it's fun. But the most important thing is for the kids is to enjoy it. You know, yeah. have a great time doing it because if you have a great time doing it, you'll keep training. And if you keep training, you'll pick up just a little bit, of just a little bit. You know, we're, we're, martial arts is really no different than volleyball, uh, basketball, softball, t-ball, whatever you might say, except someday, just someday, this might save your life. Because there's the awareness aspect of it and you can, you can defend yourself. It's not for, it's not to go pick a fight. I, I've been doing this now for about 55 years. Never been in a street fight, ever. That's amazing. Even even yeah. when I was working with Belushi and, and, yeah. and Elvis, never never happened. Yeah. Now I threw a couple guys off a, off a stage, but right. but that's about it. The Bass Rubin can't say the same. He said this <laughs> <laughs> Speaking about, I just want to ask one. What Steve gets, you know, Elvis is. I mean, I, everyone knows. I think everyone knows Elvis was a black belt, and you know, right. and Parker, uh, all that. Heard he was legitimate. He really took it seriously. Did he? He did. He did. He started in uh, in Germany. Yeah. When he was in the service, right. and uh, when he came back, he wanted to train with Ed Parker. Yeah. So he brought Ed Parker to Memphis number one, and he went out to uh, to Pasadena. But yeah, he was a, a legitimate black belt. I watched him train. I, I worked with him at TK uh -huh. Tennessee Karate Institute. Worked with all of his guys, uh, the Memphis Mafia. Right. Uh, and they were tough. They were good guys. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, they were all legitimate trained individuals that you could do the stuff you know red west was probably he was the chief of security red west sunny west jerry Schilling, mm -hmm. uh joe esposito and charlie hodge uh they were the they were the the group yeah but we had a blast cool. bill superfoot wallace joining us he's in town for an event for the guardian angels uh coming up uh sunday right 
Sunday? Sunday from 1 to 4. 1 to 4 at 1805 Wicks Avenue. So they're, they're telling me that you were clocked with a leg kick at 63 miles an hour, which is faster than a punch. So how fast is that compared to what you, you might see someone do at UFC, or then just the lay person who thinks that they can do it? Could you show them? <laughs> I can bring someone in you can demonstrate on. Oh, sure. Get the boss. Uh, well, you know, it, it's, I've always enjoyed kicking because of my wrestling background. So I was a leg wrestler in high school or in college, mm -hmm. so stick guys and scissors. So when we started, and I've always been fairly flexible. So when we started doing kickboxing, I've always enjoyed kicking. So uh, I threw, the, I fought this kid in, uh, in Las Vegas in 1976. And I threw the leg kick, the, the, not the leg kick, the high kick, the face kick mm -hmm. that nobody saw. You know, he just went down. And people, what's going on? What's going on? And it's like uh, Ali's phantom punch. Yeah. And they played it. They played the tape back in, in different angles, and they saw the angle that I caught him with, kind of right on the butt. But you know, nobody. It was back there and back. Yeah. And uh, that's where the name Superfoot came from. Yeah. Pretty much with your left foot, right? Yeah. 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 But it's a. Uh, I I do all kinds of weird things with my leg. Uh, hook kicks. You know, yeah, kick, hook kick, side kicks, roundhouse kicks, yeah. different combinations, fake a roundhouse kick, going to hook kick, going to a hook kick, going to a roundhouse kick, and uh, those people that know the martial arts know what I'm talking about. But uh, it's it just it's, it's fun kicking people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's very satisfying, it really is, i got to say. Oh, it makes, you, it makes you feel good. It's, yeah. it's fun to say you're sorry. Right. <laughs> well, talking about that, what do you think of the, uh, how the sports progressed? I mean, you're well, a kickboxing champion, now you have the UFC, you know. What do you think of that? The UFC, is, it, it's okay, but, uh, you know, it's, I was brought up with respect. I was brought up with, with uh, you know, the confidence aspect of it. And these guys that are trying to kill each other out before it even starts, you know, I mean, I remember a time that uh, I'm in a ring, this guy sticks his face right in my face, and he's going, you know, and I, I licked his nose. <laughs> and he backed up, and he was lost for about, must have been yeah. for about 30, 40 seconds. He, one of those things. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, it, you lose a lot of energy doing that, too. But uh, the UFC, some of the techniques are very, very good. Some of the techniques are, are devastating. The, the throws again, the, the takedowns. Uh, uh, the punching combinations, it, yeah. you're, you're finding out what works and what really doesn't work. Yeah. And Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is pretty cool. I, I took it, um, I am later in life, I started taking it a few years ago. And every time I go to class, I'm like, who thought of this? Like, oh, yeah. well, it's the, amazing some okay. of the things that they teach you. Well, the, yeah, it, this, the first technique we're taught in wrestling is a double A takedown. Mm -hmm. And the, the main takedown in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is a double A takedown. Right. So yeah. and it, it's effective too because you don't turn your back on anybody. Right. It's not like a judo where you turn your back on somebody. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, it's it's effective because you're always under the guy and it's and they so teach you to win on your back. You can actually win yes. while you're you know you're right. under, on, the, on your back, which is unusual. The, the trouble with the trouble that I that I have with Brazilian Jiu Jitsu or any kind of a sport like that, when you're laying on your back and when you take the guy down, uh, you don't know how many how many friends that other guy's got. Oh, in the street, absolutely, yeah, and. Uh, you know, and it's always on. It's always on a map. Yeah. You know, let's let's go out on the street and do some Brazilian Jiu Jitsu right. and find out what happens. Yeah, know? no, it's. That, that, but but again, it's very it's it's effective and it's yeah. more than anything, it's the person. Absolutely. The person doing it. It's just something to add to your arsenal. Oh, of course. I mean, because when things do go to the ground, it's an amazing thing to to, oh. to have in your pocket. Yeah. All right. So before we let you go, one more time, you're going to be Sunday from one to four, right, at the Guardian Angels headquarters, eighteen oh five Wicks Avenue. Yes. Sir. Uh, thanks so much for coming in. Glad I never got on your bad side. Oh, no, I don't have a bad side. I'm a, I'm a good guy. Someone who took a class for me. Thank you, Bill. Appreciate it very much. Thank you.